Right well, Brisbane Muso Dylan Katanak has had a taste of it. He scored an extra role in the new Elvis movie, and he got to be the bass player in the TCB band, and he's had to keep it secret until now. Can okay. you believe it? Because the trailer's dropped. The from Memphis, Tennessee. Give him a warm hayride welcome. Oh yeah, that is the voice of Tom Hanks there. He's yes. in the movie too. He is, but Dylan Katanak, good morning. Woo! Good morning, how are you guys? How hard was it not to tell anyone about the part? Honestly, very difficult. It was, uh, I mean, I've done a lot of cool things, but that definitely uh, sits at the top of the chart, the list of cool things I've done. What did you have to actually do for the audition? Uh, so for the audition, I had to learn uh, two pieces, um, and they... On the surface, sounded really simple. So, suspicious minds of burning love. You know, everyone knows those songs. But <laughs> we had to learn them note for note. And um, the live version of Suspicious Minds is seven minutes long. Oh. with a four-minute bass solo in it. Oh yeah. So, learning learning that um, was quite a. I'm not going to call it an ordeal because I really did enjoy it. But it um, was no small feat. Definitely took many many hours of sitting there listening to the. Um, the secret tracks they gave us at like quarter speed trying to figure it out note for note. But it's not only the music, you had to learn, I suppose, what it was like to actual, actually play Jerry Chef. Is that the name of the bassist? Absolutely. So did yeah, you have Jerry anything Chef. that, any mannerisms or anything like that that you had to learn? Yeah, he absolutely did. He was a, um, he was quite a, a, he was a bassist that didn't really move a whole lot. So he, uh, he had this one thing where, you know, if anyone knows how Elvis stands, he had a little bit of a similar stance, one leg forward, and he would bounce that leg. He, uh, he also played the bass with only one finger, which if, if you're a bass player, you know that's not how you play bass, but he managed to do it, and he managed to do it really well. So I had to unlearn how I used to play bass and learn how to play it with one finger. You know, I would stand how he would stand, I would move how he would move, and I uh, made sure that if um, he you know, would move his finger in a certain way when he would do a certain thing. I had to know that whenever that was coming up, I had to move in that way. It was, um, we really did um, get it right, and Baz made sure of that. So are we going to see some close-ups of you in the movie? <laughs> I do hope so. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, there's definitely uh, a point, if they haven't cut it from the movie, where I'm close enough to Austin Butler where I could kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what is Austin Butler like playing Elvis, actually? He, uh, he was phenomenal uh you know to put it pretty simply he was really really good if i shut my eyes on that stage and uh all i had was you know the audio of listening to him sing in front of me i would have just believed it was elvis yeah. um and you know for anyone that was around when the real elvis was alive i reckon you guys are going to be very very impressed wow and what about tom hanks did you actually see him on set i did see him on set we we shared only a couple things with him, but it was, obviously he was playing a fully different character, but it was still so strange to, you know, to see and hear, you know, my childhood hero, Woody from Toy Story in real life. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, because everyone, everyone dreams of meeting Tom Hanks, but it's so strange to actually hear Woody's voice, like, right next to you, and you're like, oh, it's Woody, but no, it's just Tom Hanks. What's it like, though, Dylan, as a muso, you know, yourself, to have this gig? I call it a gig of a lifetime. Yeah, look, there's a movie like this really only does come once in a lifetime for Elvis um, and for any other massive musician. There's not too many out there that get movies made about them, and I was incredibly fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time and to impress enough people to get the job and um, I'm incredibly thankful for that. It was absolutely amazing and I, uh, I wouldn't trade that experience for the world. But COVID, did, uh, you know, that sort of delayed things a bit for you because I would have thought it would be great to be on set at something like that, but did that affect things? Absolutely. COVID, um, COVID did kind of make it a little bit difficult at times, obviously with um, not being able to uh, be, you know, close to people and we had to have the 1.5 metres and the masks and separation from all the other extras and cast so it was it did um it kind of dull the the atmosphere a little bit whenever you know 
shooting would finish, we'd have to go and sit in our tents in our 1.5 meter space chairs and not be able to touch or talk to any of the other extras. But at the end of the day, I was there to play music and that was the most amazing part. Oh, you were. And what a gig to play. We can't wait to see. This comes out in June, the movie. So keep an eye out for Dylan Katanak. And of course, Dylan Katanak is what you go as with your band. Absolutely. And you're, you've got a gig this Thursday night at Lefties. Um, yes, ahead, ahead of a regional tour. And we are lucky because you've got a new single. Craig, you've got it over there, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a little bit of it. What's it called, Dylan? It's called Way Down. And this hasn't been released yet? It has not been released. We're releasing it next month for anyone listening. And if you want to hear it, this is the sneak peek. You guys will be the first people to ever hear it. Here oh, it is. we are lucky. A sneak peek on ABC Radio Brisbane, Dylan <laughs> Katanak. Uh, at Lefty's Thursday night, and you'll see him in the Elvis movie as well when it comes out. What did you say? In, in June. June. That June 23, I think it is. So <laughs> really looking forward to that. Dylan, can't wait to see it. Thank you so much for talking to us, and good luck. No problem. Thank you guys so much. And here's a sneak peek of that single, Way Down. News is next on ABC Radio Brisbane. Katnak way down. Listen out for that and look out for Dylan Katnak in the Elvis movie. Yeah.